Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Kaiwaza with you, and uh, the next installment of my cavalcade of Hawaiian records. We're going through my record collection, one Hawaiian record at a time. We're on the letter M, and we are going to pick up where we left off on our last video. So we're up to an artist uh, from the 1970s, the name of Al Makahinu. Uh, Al Makahinu sings Let There Be Hawaii. Blessed with flowers, fragrance, and rainbows, then God said, Let there be Hawaii. Golden people. This is on uh, the Sounds of Hawaii? Not Sounds of Hawaii. WM. Recorded at the Sounds of Hawaii Studios, WM Records. Now, I can't really tell you too much about Al Makahinu, except he did uh, perform at uh, some hotels and areas in Waikiki and around. Um, I don't think there's a date on this, but it's very much kind of the 70s, as you can see here. Al Makahinu. Uh, now I have two albums by a band that I think they just did these two. Um, their first one is on Trim Records, Makapu'u Sand Band is the name of the album and is the name of the group. Um, this was kind of a typical style of Hawaiian music in the like late 70s or so, 1976 this came out, a uh, vocal group, somewhat folk ish or what have you um, nice harmonies on this album and they would uh, also it's uh, this album this first one I think is mostly all maybe all uh, older like traditional songs so this was kind of something that was happening uh, groups doing uh, traditional songs in more contemporary kind of arrangements contemporary at the time 1970s or so Makapu'u Sand Band. Then they did a second album by the name of Winds of Waimanalo, this one on Mele Records. Um, I uh, rather like this record personally. Um, it's a nice mix of old songs and some new compositions. 1978 is the year. And yeah, I've always kind of enjoyed this album quite a bit. Winds of Waimanalo, uh, Paco Lee, their version, uh, Kelo Like Like, Winds of Waimanalo, Mai Mai Li Hao. I like that song. Not recorded very often, so um, yeah, I kind of like this record. Um, I'm not sure if they did anything in CD, CD era, but this was, uh, 76 or something like that, 78, 78, so I guess maybe not, I don't know. All right, up to, uh, another artist. Now, this is one of those sort of mystery artists, like, I'm really not 100% sure who this is. Uh, this is kind of a budget label, Master Seal, out of New York, um, the album is Holiday in Hawaii by a group called Makamiya and his Moana Islanders. Um, now, uh, often I have mentioned uh, there's two artists, Hal Aloma, steel guitarist, and steel guitarist Sam Makia, who uh, often recorded, they were both playing in New York, um, they often recorded together uh, and made groups and recorded under other names. I believe this is one of those recordings because it sounds very much like them and the arrangements on some of these songs are very similar to some other, um, you know, pseudonym 
groups that they recorded under. Uh, if you come across it, I really like it. It's a beautiful album. Um, and I love the arrangements. I particularly love Hawaiian War Chant, or what do they call it? Tahu Wahu Wahi. Uh, <laughs> Hawaiian War Chant, great version. Um, they did a vocal version of this that's almost identical in the arrangement except for the vocal parts. Um, that's just rockin', so it's really a rockin' arrangement of Hawaiian War Chant. But um, I recommend if you come across this album, pick it up. It's good stuff. <laughs> This cover has also come up. Um, one of my South Pacific, the, you know, the musical South Pacific, Rogers and Hammerstein, there's a, I think it's Palace Records, super budget label, has uh, a record that's one side songs from South Pacific and the other side uh, instrumental songs, not these songs, but instrumental steel guitar, uh, South Pacific highlights or something it's called. It has the same cover, different lettering, of course. But if it looks familiar, that's why you've seen it. Okay, now we come up to an artist. I have quite a few records by. We probably won't get, we will not get through them all today. Um, but, oh, I, mm, this is one of my favorites. One of my favorite artists. There's a few artists that I have to say, wow, I am really, really, really loving their body of work. And this is one uh, I love. Sam Makia, um, who, as I mentioned, I think is performing on here. Um, yeah, I was first uh, introduced to him by a record that my grandfather had which we'll get to, um, no, actually I'll show it to you now, um, yeah, this is an album my grandfather had, and my first exposure to Sam Makia and his Hawaiians, and I, number one, love the abstract artwork here, loving this, but most of all, um, wow, steel, he's a vocalist, and a steel guitarist, band leader, his steel guitar playing, Like, it's so interesting that they did perform together because Halaloma is one of my other favorite ones. We have discussed him already in the A's. I had a real f jazzy, biting, kind of aggressive sound, which I loved. Sam Makia, on the other hand, when he played, was really the polar opposite. I mean, his steel guitar playing was... It's so vulnerable and so emotional and kind of quivering and it it just sounds like you know he's about to cry on, on any sort of harmonic note it's just it's beautiful and really really like a uh, just a very emotional kind of playing and uh, wow like I super love it and as a as a kid I used to ask my grandfather to play this record a lot when I would go to visit him because I just thought oh his version of Seabreeze uh, his version of Pa'ahana. Oh, please, come on. Love this record. <laughs> show you this record in another uh, version because somewhere along the line I picked it up with another cover on it um, because and I just got it because the cover was also cool although completely different these two are the exact same album on the same record company even of uh, Forum Circle and this one is Forum Circle also Sam Makia and his surf riders Hawaiian Island Magic very schmaltzy cool cover there too, right? But it is the same, exact same record as this one. But yeah, right? Just so like, what is she doing? You know, just looking off into the horizon. But again, you know, same records, beautiful, emotional playing. Love these two records. Okay. Now, probably 
the earlier uh, Sam Makia recordings, which and then I would search out Sam Makia and be really happy whenever I found something from him. Uh, this is an early one, obviously, 10-inch long play. Sam Makia and his Waikikians on the beach at Waikiki. This is RCA uh, Victor. And uh, this is recorded probably shortly after uh, Lonnie, uh, he was playing, Sam Makia was playing with, had played with people before, but he was playing with Lonnie McIntyre at the Hawaiian Room in New York for a long time. And when Lonnie McIntyre passed away, Sam Makia, I believe, took over as the band leader or took over the spot in the uh, Hawaiian Room at the Lexington Hotel in New York and played for a long time. Um, and again, this is everything by him. This is beautiful, very emotional kind of playing. Um, this album also, though, it has uh, vocals, has singing on it also. The other one I showed you was completely instrumental. <laughs> I mean, needless to say, right? We're loving the, <laughs> the, uh, the artwork on this one as well. It's amazing. And then finally today, I'll show you another record from Sam Makia. We have plenty more to go. Um, this one, called Hawaiian Holiday, uh, on uh, Mercury Records. This is uh, Sam Makia and his Waikikians. He'll have several different, you know, group names going on. Uh, this one also uh, is a mix of instrumentals and vocals, and quite a few of the vocals on this album are actually by a solo female singer, obviously a member of the group, but who is not identified, so I don't know who she is, but she's singing, uh, you know, solo on a fair amount of... Uh, these songs. And this record also originally belonged to Celia Bird on October the 2nd of 1958. <laughs> Okay, we're going to stop there. we got plenty more Sam Makia to go. I hope I can turn somebody on to Sam Makia because somebody from my childhood that through today I just really, really love. His, his steel guitar playing is just beautiful. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of music, I'd ask you to... i got two venues you can check out. Uh, one is called 8tracks.com. You go to 8tracks.com and you look up Hawaiian Leisure Hour. That's me. And there you will find curated playlists. There's about 40 of them of anywhere between like a dozen and two dozen songs on each playlist that uh, you can play. Um, anywhere in the world, I think it works. And uh, listen to songs from my collection. Also, if you're in the United States or Canada, Canada, land of the maple leaf, uh, you can tune in to Hawaiian Hi-Fi. H-I dash F-I uh, on live365.com and there uh, is a radio station that operates 24 hours, 7 days a week free of charge for you the listener uh, that is an easy listening Hawaiian music station with selections taken from uh, the record collection you see behind me and in front of me, but you don't see that part. Uh, one day I'll do a video over there, facing that way. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good week. And if you have any comments on any of these records, if you have any Sam Makia and you think he's amazing, or you don't like him because he's too emotional and too quivering and you can't deal with it, um, I'd love to hear from you below. But as Jerry Bird once said to me, the great steel guitar player, the late Jerry Bird, um, sometimes a really good player, he said, you make it sound like your dog just died. Sam Makia definitely does that. <laughs>